In this video, I'm going to be showing you 10 insane AI prompts that you can use for your business, whether it's for YouTube, blogging, newsletter, or just creating an offer. My name is Eddie, and I've been publishing content for over four years now, and I've been able to rank on Google, publish content on YouTube, and also show up on different platforms like medium.com. So without wasting any of your time, let's go ahead and jump into these AI prompts that you can leverage for your own business. So jumping into the first one is going to be a newsletter breakdown. Now this prompt is something that you're going to want to use when you've published a YouTube video or an article online and you want to repurpose that into a newsletter format. Now this newsletter prompt is inspired by Cody Sanchez, meaning that I love her email breakdowns that she does and I wanted to go ahead and model her email newsletter structure. So I'm going to be going back and forth with ChatGPT and Claude because really my audience uses different AI tools and I want to make sure that you understand that you could use whatever large language model you want. So we're going to do this on Claude. We can also do this in ChatGPT. So we're going to go ahead and enter the prompt. And now what it's going to do is it's going to ask us for the specific topic, the type of content, the industry, and then do I have any actual content for it to analyze? So I'm going to go to my YouTube channel and I'm going to grab my most recent video, which was how to create online courses with AI. And I'm going to go into this tool called tactic.io. We're going to go ahead and enter that here. It's going to give us an entire transcript of my YouTube video. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. I'm going to go back into Claude and I'm going to just paste it. So now we have a file here that's been added. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter the topic and all the other relevant information. All right. So we got a whole breakdown for this email newsletter structure, and it's actually pretty good. So it's an analysis, the faster way to create online courses with AI. We have the overview content breakdown, everything that I discuss in that video, some key insights, my audience analysis, communication techniques from the video my itself. And now from here, we can use this next part of the prompt. It's going to say now, based on this information, help me create an email that breaks everything into sections. This newsletter breakdown should be around 700 to 900 words. Use simple and straightforward English. My company name is automatic prompting and reading level. And this is to eighth grade for this example. And it's going to come out with some really good info. So what it's doing is that it gave us a really sweet and short intro. We have some sections here. Why short courses rock? Let AI do the heavy lifting, the step-by-step -step part of the email structure. What are the tools to make it life easier? You can add your affiliate links or maybe your own product or service. And then some quick tips ready to get started. And to be honest, this is really good because it also even has like a little CTA at the very end. So what you can do here is you can copy the content. You can go to your convert kit or beehive newsletter and then just add this into your broadcast sequence. So this is my template and I'm just going to go ahead and remove this here. And after doing some formatting, we have the deep dive, which was that exact content that we got from Claude. We can continue improving this and editing now that it's inside of ConvertKit or let's say you're using Beehive. But you can see how amazing this is. Like it's really given us a solid structure and I can continue adding onto this or removing it. But now I have my newsletter. I can add my ad placement here. I can also add a quick little intro, which was right here. And I can start formatting my my entire email from here. I can preview it. So again, this is very basic. I didn't update the title, but you have sections. Then I have the entire piece of content that I wanted to showcase for my audience. And you could do the exact same. All right, moving on to our next prompt. It's going to be an image product description prompt. This one's really cool because this one's very powerful for anyone who's a you know, media outlet, anyone who's an in-house writer, or you're doing this for your own website and you're reviewing products. This is going to give you a nice structure for your product name, the key benefits, and then a personal take. So from here, it's going to ask us for the specific product name, the product type, any specific demographic, and also any other details. So one thing I like to do is I always add an image on top of what I'm trying to explain the AI model to. All right. So for this example, I'm going to be using a baby monitor with two cameras, and this is how I usually do it. So I'm going to copy this title here. Then I'm going to take a screenshot using a free tool called awesome screenshot, and I'm going to do half a page. All right. So I added the name, I added the type, which is baby monitor, the target audience is new parents. And then I added a take or my personal experience, which is I love this for my baby. I feel safe knowing I can see my baby while my wife is at home too. So let's go ahead and see how it creates our specific product description. Perfect. So it's pretty good. So we have the title, we have the overview of our product, we have the key benefits, and then also a quick personal experience. So let's see if it actually did that. All right. So I don't see my personal experience in here. So I'm going to say, make sure to add my take in 
there as well. Awesome. So I went ahead and added it in there for us. So this is really cool. As a user, I love this for my baby. It gives me a sense of security knowing I can see my baby while my wife is at home too. Now, this is a really cool one because again, you can use this for your e-commerce products. You can use this for a website or even if you're just showcasing on a YouTube channel and you need some kind of script, you can also do that as well. All right, next up on our list is an FAQ prompt. Now, this is one that is very powerful because it allows me to also rank on AI overviews and I also featured snippets. I'm going to show you some proof as well. So this one is going to be pretty detailed, but it's going to create a list of five frequently asked questions under 350 characters relevant to your specific title. And then from there, it's going to provide us very simple and straightforward answers. And you can either edit that further, but honestly, it works really well. So here's one quick example. This is for a product review called Taja AI. And if you put in the main root keyword, you can see here for this people also ask section, I'm ranking for that featured snippet, which is what is Taja AI used for? Taja AI creates SEO friendly descriptions that boosts your video's visibility. All right, so let's go ahead and use that prompt. And again, you guys can grab all of these prompts in the description below. So for the title, we're gonna use a random one how to make coffee at home. And you can add that one more time here. And it's gonna give us a list of really good snippets. Okay, so it gave us some really good ones. What I really like about that is it also gives us related keywords that it's using in that specific answer. And then it's given us the answer really straightforward and to the point. Now, if you have your own FAQs, you can also add that in here and it's gonna give you those answers as well. Next up on our list is a video sales letter creator prompt or also known as VSL. So this is gonna help you create sales copy for a course, a digital product, or just anything that you're selling. Let's go ahead and jump into ChatGPT for this one and I'm just gonna enter that prompt here. So it's gonna ask us for a lot of information, which is super important. I'm gonna to try to do this as fast as I can and just add some relevant information based on a specific product. All right, so this one's gonna be product name is Coffee 101, audience is coffee lovers, and I teach people how to make coffee at home at an affordable cost. Some key benefits, the pricing, and a CTA. So let's see how well it does. All right, so it gave us a lot of information. It gave us the hook, the problem, agitate the problem, present the solution, some benefits. If you have any social proof, you can add that, handle objections, and you can present the offer. So this is insanely powerful. Now from here, you can add more information to this and let's say you have social proof or you wanna update or improve the call to action. From here, we can go ahead and say, now write the VSO and break it up into sections around 900 words. Use simple and straightforward English and my reading level is eighth grade. So what it's doing now is it's creating all of the content for us. So it has the opening hook. It gives us the problem. I mean, it's really powerful. You love coffee, right? But isn't it frustrating when your homemade coffee just doesn't taste as good as the cafes? What if I told you there's a way to make premium cafe quality coffee at home? So good your neighbors will be jealous. <laughs> that is insanely powerful. All right, sweet. So it's almost done here. But if there's some things that you don't like, then again, go ahead and remove that or just ask ChatGPT to help you improve it. From there, it's about 900 words. You can add this into a Google Doc or another document editor of your choice and then continue to improve it and edit further. All right, next up, we have a YouTube viral title prompt. And this is the one I'm using for all of my YouTube channel video ideas, and it works really well. Now, one thing I'm going to say is that sometimes Claude will not allow me to do it because of some of the wording, like outrageous claim. I don't know why, but we're going to use ChatGPT for this. So once you enter this information, it's going to ask us for the platform, the topic or unique unique angle, and then also any pain points or desires from our target audience. So you should already know your topic pretty well. So for this one, we're going to say YouTube topic, how to run faster in two weeks, the pain point too slow. You can add way more to this, but just for the sake of this video, let's see what it does. So on chat GPT 4.0, it's given us two different responses, but either way, that's fine. So there's some good ideas here. So we have how I shave seconds off my time in two weeks without expensive gear. That's pretty good. I followed the secret two week plan. Now I run like a pro the two week speed hack that athletes don't want you to know. <laughs> now these are really good. So try this out for yourself. See if you can come up with new ideas for your YouTube channel and let me know how that works. All right. Next up, what we have on our list is a video shorts script writer. So you can use this for Instagram reels, TikTok, or YouTube shorts. And this is a proven framework that has worked really well. So try this one out if you're trying to do more short content. All right, so I went ahead and entered the prompt. 
Now it's asking us for the specific angle of the video, any opening hook statements that we can include, proven content ideas that we can build on top of that, the target duration for the video, and also any other key points. So again, this is why it's super important to know your topic. We're just gonna use the how to run faster in two weeks without any added context. All right, so it's giving us some examples here. On-screen text, feel too slow. Then you as a voiceover, what if I told you the secret to running faster in two weeks is just all in your hips? And then it cuts to the clip. I used to be slow until I discovered this. And then it's going to go into the main content. So this is insanely good. It's not about your legs. It's how you use your hips that makes all the difference. In just two weeks, I shaved off my time and you can too. And you can kind of go into the main content and talk about what you want to explain. So this is really powerful when it comes to writing a simple video script for your short form content. Next up, we have an ICP or also known as ideal customer profile and offer starter prompt. So this is for anyone who's trying to sell a course or a digital product, yet you want to figure out who your audience might be based on any analytics that you have or any demographics that you know about or your target audience. But this is going to help you kind of get started and know what you should sell. Awesome. So this is what it's asking us for the business and niche overview, any customer data that we might have and market insights. So who, what is the target business or niche? Are there any specific products or services or content areas that you're trying to offer? Do you have any existing data about your customers? So this is where you might have like spreadsheets, where you might have like your YouTube analytics or Google analytics and know more about your audience. And then any market insights. So this is something that you manually need to understand and type into this chat GBT prompt. All right, so for the sake of this video, again, you can add in so much information here, but just trying to make this as quick as and useful as possible for you. So the business niche is how to write with AI. Customer data, they watch videos around blogging, content generation, SEO. I could also say that their age is 18 to 40. And you can add in more information here, but the market insights is customer challenges that they don't know how to prompt. So let's just use that for an example. And now what it's doing, it's helping us create an ICP and then also helping us kind of gather information for a product offer. So it's giving us the age, which we gave it. It's telling us likely balance of male and female for gender, location, English speaking countries, income varies, education level varies, interests are content creation, SEO, blogging, AI tools, and digital marketing. It's given us some behavioral patterns. So this is why it's important to try to add in as much customer data as possible. Some pain points that they're feeling, goals and aspirations, customer persona. So early career content creators make sense. Side hustling bloggers also make sense. We have the market analysis. So some tools that they might use. And then boom, this is the really important information, which is the offer creation. So we have our unique value proposition, teach content creators how to write with AI using prompt based approach, allowing them to scale content faster, rank higher and create high quality posts. So it's given us an offer structure here. We have a low end product, which is the prompt playbook. We have a mid tier course that contains video lessons, templates and Q and A's. And then maybe we have a high ticket paid membership, which is a $197 per month, which includes one on one coaching, exclusive prompts and different content types. Now, this is really great because you can continue talking to ChatGPT and say like, hey, I don't like this pricing structure or hey, I don't like this launch plan. Can you help me improve it? So some things are really cool because it's even telling us like look at competitors who offer AI writing courses, look at some of the ethical considerations, and you could use this to kind of jumpstart your product. All right, next up is one of my favorites is going to be the topical map generator, also known as just finding content ideas and looking like an authority in front of Google's and your audience eyes. So this one's going to help us kind of figure out our content plan, help us build out a topical map based on keywords, and we can use this for any niche. So it's going to ask us for the main topic, the number of subtopics and any specific ideas per subtopic. So main topic, we can say coffee making number of subtopics I want will be five and ideas under each subtopic. I could say about 15 just for this example. So the main topic is coffee making, and then we're going to have all these subtopics that we can create content around. So we have types of coffee beans, how to select fresh coffee beans, light, medium, and dark roast explain, how to store coffee beans for maximum freshness. We have brewing methods as another subtopic. We have subtopic number three, which is coffee equipment and tools. So this could be like more on the affiliate side. We have coffee recipes. We even have coffee culture. So just from here, obviously not all of them are going to be useful to us, but from there we have about 
30 plus 45 plus article ideas. I mean, this is crazy because you can continue adding on to this, but this is going to help us kind of gather more information about our topic and look like an expert. All right. So one of my favorite ones as well is and this is what I'm using to help me with my blog writing sections and sometimes even. So let's go ahead and enter this humanizer prompt. And again, it's going to ask us for the specific sections. And what I'm doing here is based on the topical map that we created, I'm just going to have it write an article around one of the specific topics, which is the role of a milk frother in coffee drinks. So this is going to sound like AI 100%. And we're just going to grab some sections in here and see if it makes it better. So let's just grab the introduction and go ahead and enter this into the humanizer prompt. And to me, it looks way, way better. So you can use this specific prompt to help you with sections. One thing I like to do sometimes is I also even say like add these specific SEO keywords and it will also include that in the article without messing up the meaning behind the entire paragraph. So for example, I can say add in these SEO keywords in naturally Starbucks, cheaper and coffee freak. So you can see how it added in that keyword Starbucks. It also added coffee freak and it also added cheaper. So you can do this and still have it sound humanized. But at the end of the day, even if you are using this prompt, you still want to edit and improve and add more line breaks and also add images wherever it makes sense. All right, for this AI prompt, we're going to be doing video to blog. And it's insane because you can grab your content that you've created before and then turn that into a really good long form informational post that you can share on your website. All right, so the topic is going to be AI blogging system. Then I'm going to go in and include the transcript from my video, and it's going to help us create this blog post outline first, and then it's going to have us write the next section. Sweet. So you can see it's creating the outline. We have how to create an AI blogging system that will 10x your productivity. What is an AI blogging system? Reasons you need to know about it. Here are the step-by-step -step instructions, setting up your workflow, AI-powered keyword research. So this is everything that I said in that video. Now from here, I can have it either write the article for me or I, or I can just do it myself. But this is for the sake of this training, go ahead and have it write it for us. So I'm just going to have it write the article modeling my tone of voice since it already read my transcript and I'm going to have it use eighth grade reading level. So it looks pretty good. We have the intro. We have it answering the questions for us, the step by step guides. And this is very, very basic. So we need to include more information to this, add more images and add as much quality information as you can to the specific article draft. So this is going to help you really kind of publish content faster and embed, you know, the video onto your blog posts and vice versa and create a content flywheel for your business. Okay, so here's what to do next. You're going to turn these prompts and any ones that you create in the future into custom GPTs, Claude projects, or use a tool like Notebook LM or any AI model that allows you to create custom AI models. For example, I turned a few of my prompts into Claude projects and also custom GPTs. So this is going to be a YouTube video script outline. And, and for example, in this Claude project, I have my how to article outline template for blogging. So it has my template guide in here, the PDF, and then also has my writing style. It also has eighth grade reading lever and also has specific words that I don't want it to include. So I can just add in anything for the topic here. And it's going to go ahead and create a perfect outline for me that I can use for my article. So I have how to write faster, even if you're a slow typer, what is fast writing, reasons you need to know how to write faster, the step-by-step -step instructions. And I don't need to always copy and paste the prompts. I could just use projects. I can use custom GPTs or I can use whatever AI model, but this is going to help you speed up the process and workflow as well. So those are 10 insane AI prompts that you can start leveraging for your content creation business. If you have any questions or you want to see more content like this, then go ahead and comment below. Let me know what you liked and what you didn't like. And if you ever want to watch any future videos, YouTube is recommending these two up here as well. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.